Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is Melo and I am back a lot earlier than expected, I guess. The reason why uh, is Dota 2, um, Defense of the Ancients 2, uh, has exited out of beta, is now officially released on Windows, and there's a lot of excitement going on uh, about this uh, release note because in the FAQ section they also mentioned Linux and Mac clients being uh, in, in test stage and they also mentioned that they are to rele be released uh, really soon and today Dota 2 test showed up in my library on Steam for Linux and I'm not the only one, there are a lot of other people who are seeing this and everyone gets crazy right now because Dota is sure to be a very anticipated game and I know a lot of Linux gamers who are really looking forward to this. So in case you are one of them, I thought you might be interested in having a look about in the current state of the Linux port of Dota 2. So enough of the introduction, let's uh, hit the play button and start the game. In case you don't know uh, what uh, I'm talking about, if you don't know the game, Dota or Defense of the Ancients is the sequel of uh, Dota 1, of course, and which was a custom map for Warcraft 3, a real-time strategy game from Blizzard. And it's a game uh, of the genre MOBA. It's called MOBA, which means uh, Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. Uh, you have bots to play in single player, but it's basically a multiplayer game where you play usually five against five. You have two teams, teams starting at uh, oppo opposing sides of a map, and you have computer controlled um, creeps, and everyone gets to pick one hero and fight their way to the opponent's base and the goal is to destroy the opponent's base. So here we are, in-game in the client. You'll instantly notice uh, a few things. If you already played Dota 2, you will notice this little thing here is telling you that it's the test build. You will notice that the sounds are really off and very different to what you're used if you play the stable version on Windows, uh, which I do, for example. Another difference is if you install the Dota 2 test client, uh, it is not related to your Dota 2 achievements uh, from the official client at all. So you can see here my profile is completely wiped. I don't have any uh, experience points, any statistics. There is no um, community shop for items and stuff like that. Nothing of that at all. Um, but what you also cannot do, sadly, I was thinking to uh, show you this, is using uh, the training mode to learn how to play or to practice with bots. Whenever you uh, s try to start a game um, in that way, it just crashes the client. So it's unstable in that manner. Um, what you can do is you can find a match with matchmaking. That this is working, but it takes a lot of time. It's saying here 146, but yeah, it took me longer the last time I tried. Uh, I guess it's because of the test version being on a separate server with not that many players compared to the official release. Um, what we are trying instead is to have a look into the game itself by watching a live game. Uh, let's see if we can find... Here ha we have a 5 on 5 game. Um, it's in the pre-game phase. Let's start this one instead. Now they are, they are not full. As you can see, there are not that many games, especially not with all players in them, um, compared to the official release, which is due to the fact that this is a different server, it's a test server. So things are a little bit different. Um, never mind, let's just join this game so we can have a look about have a look at uh, the graphics. How does it look? Does it look the same way it does on Windows? Uh, how is the performance? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, we have to wait a little bit to get connected to the game. There we are. So this seems to be pretty end game. As you can see in the bo bottom left corner in the minimap, 
the green uh, faction is the radiance, the red one is the I don't know what they are called even the bad guys and yeah basically this game is over uh, the radiant heroes are camping in front of the spawn point of, uh, in front of the fountain of the opposing team and just uh, killing them for stats sake as you can see uh, there are a lot of graphic issues it doesn't look anything like uh, the Windows version you have this bug in the hero portrait, you have this uh, strange uh, lightning portals that look really weird. Um, let's get a free camera so we can move around. Fog of War is really black and not like fog uh, is used to look. And so yeah, you have a, a lot of visual bugs that are instantly apparent. Um, performance is really okay, uh, but that's to be expected with such a downgraded version of the of the game engine. Um, I can show you my stats so that you don't blame my computer for this. Uh, actually the video stats are 1080p full screen uh, with everything set to on or high. Uh, on Windows this looks really good. Uh, on the current Steam client it looks like this. Nonetheless it seems to be playable uh, Suppose that you get uh, a game with five players uh, who do not instantly leave. Um, but the game is really in a very early stage. The engine looks like uh, yeah, alpha. It has a lot of things that need to get fixed. Um, you don't have the community guides uh, for, for hero builds, for example. Um, you yeah, but mainly you have a lot of uh, engine work that needs to be done here, so everything looks really odd, but the basic game functions seem to work. Um, there's the shop, you can buy items, you have your heroes, you can use their skills, um, and you can enjoy this uh, really great uh, multiplayer online game. Um, yeah, but as you can see, things look look very different if you're used to Windows version so playing right now is only for a absolute uh, Dota freak who can't is not willing to boot Windows any longer um, for, all the, uh, for everyone else it's probably better to wait but it's uh, really exciting uh, and great to see that Dota 2 is on its way to come to Linux, that there's been a test client already. Uh, it may be in its early stages, but uh, I'm sure Valve is working on it to improve this. And maybe it's not even taking that long, considering that there already is a test client out to the general public. But you can never be sure, um, since uh, Valve uh, stated uh, as a release date it will be released soon and soon in wealth time can mean uh, a lot of different things so I guess we just have to be patient the one thing is that's for sure is as soon as Dota 2 uh, gets officially released for Linux I will be back with an official screencast of the game showing you around and how it's working on Linux but for now that's all from me uh, I hope you en enjoyed this short video and your curiosity is tamed for a little while in case you were uh, yeah you were really interested in how the uh, Linux client looks right now you saw it just there that's the current state if things get improve uh, get improved I'll keep you updated um, and be sure to check back as soon as Dota 2 is released uh, to check out my full Linux support review so long I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.